Şükür. Doğrulu şükür.
Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Hey, oh Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Why she never was so to me? Lucifer, 
for the dragon, you brought the dragon down. You are your way, you are in charge. You are your way. You are your way. You are your way. You are in charge of the universe. You are your way. You are in control. That's why we depend on you, Lord. You are all she want to depend on you. Let us put our choice in everything around us. In every news, in every chaos around, in every instability. Let us lay out and depend on the law. The law is all she wants to depend on him. Let her depend on him, oh God. Let her depend on Yahweh. Let her depend on Elohim. Hey, Shada. Almighty God. We depend on you, oh God. We depend on you, oh God. You are Yahweh in our lives. We are not a God beside you, Lord. We are not a God, Jesus. We are not a God, our Father. You are Yahweh, the provider to the needed, the protector, the deliverer to the oppressed. You are Yahweh, the provider. I want to provide the Jehovah Jireh. I want to shake it, 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 it. Jehovah needs you, oh God, I get up and I'll be to me. But you deal with me for this joy and the mail, God. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. All power belongs to you, Lord. All power belongs to you. We are not all the God beside you, Lord. You are Yahweh. 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 Alpha Omega. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey. Mashikarara masanda erere. Mosoto vira ra 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 masere de, mara masige de de masata here de de mosoto vira ra ra, masige de 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 masoto vira de 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 de, masata ra 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 mosoto vira ra ra. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. There is no God like you. You are Yahweh. Let us depend on God for everything. The Lord is all she has to depend on Him for everything, for power, for protection. For leadership, for healing, for jobs, for provision, for shelters, for everything, for everything that we so desire, the Lord is all she ought to depend on Him, oh God. Let her depend on Yahweh. Let her depend on Yahweh. Let her depend on Yahweh. Yahweh has defeated the enemy. Yahweh has destroyed the devil. Let her depend on Yahweh. Let the people of Yahweh. Let the people of Yahweh. Let the people of Yahweh. Yahweh is all she ought to depend on him. The Lord is all she ought to depend on him. Let us pour our trust in him. Let us surrender all the feet of Jesus. Let us trust in Yahweh. When you trust in Yahweh, you will never be put to shame, oh God. Those that put their trust in Yahweh, they are like my Zion that cannot be removed by a body forever. I say, my own is around Jerusalem. So the Lord surround his people. And according to Psalm 125, let us put our trust in Yahweh. Let us depend on him. When we depend on the Lord, when we depend on the Lord, he fought our battles. He gave us victory. That's why he said, put your trust in the law. Because he is able. When you put your trust in the law, he is able. You depend on him. He will fight your battle. Put your trust in the law, for he is able. Depend on your way. Let us lay out to depend on the law. The Lord depend on your way. Because angels fall before your throne. 
Miracles are beyond it. What a mighty God you are. He just far before your tongue. Miracles are beyond it. What a mighty God you are. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Ah, I'm a shikere. You are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. Ede moshi kara ra, masanta ra 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 ra. Moshi kara ra ra masanta ede ede mosoto vida ra ra ra. Ma ede moshi kara ra ra. Lord, we depend on you, Lord Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh. Alpha, Omega. Ah, na mas chique. Ah, na mas chique. Eu posso te ajudar. Não vou te aqui. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, our Maker. Thank you for everything, Lord. Father, we will depend on you. Thank you, Father. Father, have mercy upon your people. Today, we will also go. From our strong enemies, hostile enemy, messenger of Satan that been deployed against us to be a toy in our flesh. Lord, deliver us. Because we depend on you, Lord. When we depend on you, you do the needful for us. You bless us. You protect us. You provide for us. Just name it. Lord, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, take control over this atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, we call upon you. Take charge. Take charge. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your support, for your encouragement, for your motivation. For everything you've been doing, I appreciate you all. To God be all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. We're going to continue with our topic today. As per yesterday, the Lord is urging us to depend on Him. God is urging you and I to depend on Him. In Jesus' mighty name. According to Psalm 62, beginning with verse 5 to 12. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my right and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. If God be our defense, He be our defense, we shall not be moved. He fight our battles. He deliver us from every strong enemy, from every evil surroundings, every evil forces. You just name it. Occultic powers, wishes, witchcraft, hustle enemies, Evil manipulations, principalities, power from the breeze of the air, power that operates from the moon, the sun, the stars, the wind, the contrary wind. He delivered us all from that. That's God. He's not a man to lie. According to Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. He's not a son of man that he should repent or change his mind. 
What he says, he does. And what he promises, he fulfills. He accomplishes what he starts. Whenever God begins something, he ends it. He said in Psalm 138 and verse 8, The Lord shall perfect that which concerns you. He must say, O Lord, into your forever. Do not forsake the work of the hand. That's God. He changes not in Jesus' mighty name. He said, in, in God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in him. It's in God. Our refuge is in God. It's in God we can get our glory when we depend on him. He does everything for us. Sometimes we feel that God is so slow. But guess what? He's working behind the scene. Oh yes. Believe it. There are so many witnesses out there. They can testify and they often testify unto waiting upon the Lord, depending on the Lord, and he met them at the point of their knees. You are not an exception. All you need or all God requires of you is to be patient. Be patient. Your time will soon show up. God's time is the best. We all know the saying around here. He who laughs last Laugh the best. When you laugh, laugh. You laugh last in God. You will flourish like a palm tree. According to Psalms 92. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Psalm 92 verse 12. 215. 215. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the word of God is telling us right here. If God be our salvation and our glory, the rock of our strength and our refuge is in him. Then what are you fearing? What are you worried about? All you need to do, surrender all until you wake up in the morning and say, Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up, or for waking me and my family up, for waking us up this morning. You didn't have to do it, but you did. We depend on you for provision, for protection, for everything. As we are going out, Lord, surround us with your warring angels, with your protection. According to Psalm 91, He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall bow under the shadow of the Almighty. Because you depend on God, you are abiding under His shadow. He's going to cover you. His covering is with you. He never depart from His children. Remember, He's omnipotent, omnipresent, and omnipresent. He can be everywhere at the same time. Every places at the same time. In every homes at the same time. God is spirit. Therefore, all true worshippers must worship God in spirit and in truth. When you depend on God, nothing can move you. Or nothing should be able to move you. Nothing should discourage you. No friends. No friends should subdue you because of what they owe today. Because all is vanity. All is meaningless. For what shall it profit a man if he should lose or gain this whole world and lose his soul? You can read it in Mark 8 36. Depend on God. When you depend on Him, He makes blessings for you. He blesses you with good jobs. He blesses you with money. And He blesses you make which He added no sorrow. According to Proverbs 10 and verse 22. When the Lord bless you, he does not require you to give your daughter or your sons or your children or your mother or your sibling or require you of him or sacrifice. No. If God bless you, he bless you. And he continues to bless you unconditionally. No string attached. So depend on God. Don't say, oh, times are hard. We used to have good jobs. But now, no way out. Everywhere seems to be at a standstill. Or everywhere seems to be a stagnant, no moving. And people want you to compromise. To not compromise. Depend on God. Everything is going to fade away. To not allow anyone to subdue you, to compromise your integrity because of job. To not exchange your body for a job. Ladies especially. Even men. To not do that. 
Depend on God. Work on the law. Remember Isaiah 40, 31 says, those that went upon the law, he will renew their strength. They will man up with wings as eagles. They will run and not get weary. They will walk and not faint. Work on the law. Depend on God. Is there your children's school fees that you feel that God cannot provide for you? When you depend on him, he will trouble somebody. The more you call upon the Lord for help, the more he troubles someone and place your name in someone's heart to come and bless you. You will see someone in the neighborhood or in the community asking for a particular person. When you ask him, is anything the matter? He said, no, I just want to see them. Because the Lord has revealed you to them. The Lord has troubled their heart to come and bless you. So when you depend on the Lord, he make provision for you. Why are you worried? Is there a status that you need? For we all know, all the offices are working slowly. But if God be for you, who can be against you? When the law of favor is upon your life, no matter what happens, there will be delay, but it will surely come to pass. Habakkuk 2, 2 say, though the vision may tarry, but it will yet still come to pass. Though it will tarry, your papers may tarry. And showing that working on your paper, gave it to the law. Say, Lord, I surrender all unto you. You are my stronghold, the hold of my salvation. My shield, my rampart. I depend on you. Make sure this happens for me. I have no other gods beside you. Lord, take up this fight for me. And see what the Lord will do for you. But the Lord had double-minded Christian. He had kind of minded people. You cannot be trusting God and sin that you trust two other sources. God doesn't like that. I saw men we look at the out, outer a, a, a appearance or the outside look. But the Lord look at the heart. You can read that in 1 Samuel chapter 16. God looks at our heart. The way we pray, the way we communicate, the way we give him condition. God doesn't like you to give him condition. No. You don't bargain with him. You wouldn't ask him and trust him. You wouldn't depend on him that he does what you want. Or he able to do what no man can do. Don't doubt it in your heart. People are praying yet then they are doubting God. Oh yes. They pray, pray, pray. They gave them deadline. They gave them dates. They don't see any sound. They begin to question God's ability. Don't do that. If you do that, everything will be clear. God will just drop your case. God doesn't like that. Depend on him entirely with our condition. Unconditionally. Whether they tell you that your, your letter will have met you at any given date, when the date has passed, say, God, thank you. You have all time and season in your hands. The song writer said, you got times and season in your hands. You call for light out of darkness you don't need a man to be the god who you are that's why you chose me to call me on you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are god by yourself say so, oh god thank you i know tonight if i were you we all do this and we make the mistake. Whenever someone promise you, whenever someone tell you, I just give him time, you shall hear from me. Say, God, I'm looking up to you for that answer. I'm not looking at them. They are men. Oh, yes. Men may say this. They will not do it. They will lie. But God, you are not a man to lie. You are not a son of man that you should repent. What you say you do, what you promise, you fulfill or you accomplish according to number numbers 23 and verse 19. Do not look up to any USCIS office or officer. Look up to God. He is greater than everything. He is bigger than everything. Oh yes, he is higher than everything. Why are you so worried? Why are you so discouraged? You thought that or you have you think it in your mind that God has forgotten you? He's only testing your faith. Oh, yes. 
He's only trying to see if he or she is not only calling upon me because they, they need this for me. As soon as I make it, uh, make it known or give it to them, they soon turn their back. They soon start to call Africa to call other sources, to, con to consult other idols or man made gods. God looks at the heart, He knows our thoughts. The deception that in the heart of men, they are so grave. God sees it all. He sees it all. He's asking us to depend on him. So we prophet, oh, I depend on God for everything. When they go in the background, they say they have to call people to consult. Other means, devilish powers, occultic power, voodoo priests. Oh, yes. God is asking us to entirely depend on him. Don't go to that village that will tell you do not wear uh, anything. You you go with the, you go backward to enter the hut that don't have any doors. Do not do that. If you do that, you have already compromised. You have already compromised. God has been providing for you. People who have COVID nineteen. They pay all the free, the ambulances are flying around with all the syringes. At the end of the day, I say for their bills. The oxygen, the ventilators they are using, the pay is not free. But here we are, we wake up in the morning, we are breathing free with our ventilators, with our oxygen. But we still don't want to be grateful to say, Thank you, Jesus. We still complain, we murmur as the children of Israel. Moses tried to, God sent Moses to deliver them. They were still murmuring, questioning God's ability. They took them through the Red Sea. They were still murmuring. All the sounds and wonders the Lord performed in their midst, all the plagues that God before the Egypt, all the first sons that died, they were still murmuring. What kind of people are these? They took them in the wilderness. Manners were being falling from heaven. They complained. They murmur. They said they wanted their diet to be changed. God changed it. He granted their request. But still, they were murmuring. They were complaining. They were whining. God doesn't like that. He doesn't like anyone to whine and murmur. He doesn't like kind of minded Christians, believers. He loves people who totally believe in Him, who totally surround in Him, or surround to Him. Who told them they say, I stand upon the word of God. The word of God has power. The word of God is my provision. The word of God is my deliverance. The word of God is my protection. It's the kind of people God is looking for. Not you. Your expectations are so high from men, not from God. Our expectations are to be high in God. We, we are to look up to God. When we depend on Him, He's our expectations. He's our provision provision. He's our strong tower. You remember the song writer said, the name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous went, went through it or went underneath it and they are safe. Why are you sitting and pretending? God doesn't like us to pretend. He doesn't like it. God needs us to depend on him entirely. Have you asked yourself, you went to bed, you wake up in the morning. Isn't that a miracle? Go and seek for information out there. Let them tell you the statistics or how many people left in their sleep. Then you will wake up in the morning. You say, hallelujah, anyhow. I never let my problem let me down. Whatever problem may come away, I will hold my hand to her and say, hallelujah, anyhow. For the Lord has favored me. Oh, God, it's not my mind, it's not my power. It is by the miracle of the Lord that he woke me up this morning. He set me on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Stop murmuring. You stop complaining. You say sad all the time. As if you are bereaved, someone died from you. As if God has forgotten you. God doesn't like that. God doesn't like that. He loves people who are cheerful. You wake up in the morning. He said, you problem, listen to me. My God is bigger than you. You situation, listen to me. You document, you whatever sense, circumstances, you immigration problem, listen to me. I have a God who is bigger than everything. He's bigger than every situation.
situation. My God is bigger than all my worries. He is bigger than everything. God is bigger than every mountain. I can and cannot see. My God is bigger than all my worries. God is bigger than everything. God is bigger than every mountain. I can and cannot see. Why are you so discouraged? Is it because you are not yet married? You feel time is passing by your your age is no longer on a calendar? Don't you believe in miracles? Don't you believe in the mighty hand of God? Remember in Isaiah 42 verse 8, God does not share his glory with any man. Those people that are proven to be self God, self-imposed God, some people are pastors of men or women of God, they are taking the place of God, giving people death and time. God has the time and seasons in his hands. We can advocate, we can intercede, but we cannot take God's place. He knows what is best for you. That person you are so desiring, maybe it's not the right person for you. It's why God is causing all of the delays. That thing that's so at, 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 that thing that is so attracted to you. Maybe it's not the right thing. Not all that glitters is gold. Remember that. Now everything that you see looking fine. No, 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 no. The devil to see people in beauty with beautiful stuff. Don't be carried away for all is vanity. In Jesus' mighty name. We're going to continue to read our scripture. Trust in him at all times. You people pull out your heart before him. Oh yes. Trust in him at all times. Trust in the Lord at all times. Are you trusting in God at all times? Or are you trusting in yourself? You believe in yourself too much. Sometimes we are so proud, pompous, and arrogant. We believe in ourselves. We feel we can pray. We feel that we will just pray. Things just happen. We feel we can do this. We can do that. Let us stop being so proud and arrogant. Sometimes we feel that we don't need God. Because we can. We have the, our answer. The answer is in our hands. The answer lies in our hands. We should stop doing that. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Say, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Oh, that was Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And oh, lean on your own understanding. Depend on the Lord. Acknowledge him. In all your ways, you will direct your path. So what is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? I'm going to read Psalm 37, verse 5. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your rationale as the light and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him to not fit because of him who pro prosper in his way. You see that? To not be carried away by someone who prosper in their own way, you don't know where they have gone. How many sacrifices they have made? How many children? Some of them have sacrificed their wife's wombs so that they can get riches, so they can bear children. Some of them have sacrificed their, their manhood. Some of them have done so many things. You don't know how someone got their riches. So why are you sitting there and you so freed or so frightened or you so carried away? Don't do that. Don't do that. Say, do not fret because of him who prosper in his ways, because of the man who brings wicked shins to pass. Seize on anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It only causes hell. In Jesus' mighty name. Do you hear that? You will say, oh, we are serving God and God has blessed his brother over me. If it is a loss, way, so be it. You just wait patiently for your time. Yours will surely come. It may tarry, according to Habakkuk 2 2. But it will surely come. Do not be carried away by anything around you. Do not. In Jesus' name. Surely men of low degree are a vapor. Men of high degree are a lie if they are aware on the skills. 
People are so dangerous. People can be so unpredictable. People can be so cunning, so rascals, so evil minded. Trust in no man. Who not trust in God? Depend on Him. The one that always showing you friendship at times, it may be or it may appear that they are responsible for what you are going through. The one that often take phone to say, Oh, I'm just checking on you. It may appear that he or she is responsible for everything you're going to. Oh, yes. So, but then feel that nothing good should happen for others if only they are not in the lead. They want to lead everything. They want to succeed over you. They want to subdue you. They want to be so say one, so say all. They want to be the only person that you should go to and ask. They don't want you to help others, but they want only you to go to them. So is the heart of men. They are so wicked. They are altogether lighter than viper. Men can be unpredictable. Oh yes. Men can be so much surprising. When you truly know whom your friends are, people in your close confine, if you know who they are, you will flee for your life. People you profess so you love, people who even, some of them go the extra mile and do some things to pretend that they love you. Check it out. Oh yes, they are the one that are killing you slowly. All God is asking you to depend on him. In Jesus' mighty name. To not trust in oppression, nor vain hope in robbery, in riches, if riches increases, do not set your heart on them. God does not let convertedness. We all know it. It's one of the sins that God hates. Why will you sit and you desire someone as a husband? Why will you sit and you calculate or be with someone else's wife? Why do you sit as men or women of God who People look up to for counseling, for encouragement. You are despising, plotting, plotting against people. When people come to you for marriages, for counseling, you bring wash a partner against the other partner. You know how to pair people. You know the age difference. You know the appearance. You know whatever that matters. You're taking the place of God. May the Lord deliver you all. You call yourself people of God, but you plot, in, you plot against other people. You want someone... To marry your daughter or to marry the sister in the church you love. Or to marry people that you love. Your sisters, your siblings. You don't want other people to get married to them. May the Lord deliver us all. What a wicked world. You holding the Bible in, the, in, the, in your hand. But you hiding behind the Bible. Executing evil. May the Lord deliver us all. Why will you sit there? You desire good things for yourself. And you think other people should not. Partake of good things. Are you God? You are not God. The son writer said they are men, they are not God. What the Lord said, it will surely come to pass. All God is asking you and I to depend on Him. Let them go to their charms. Let them go to their occultic powers. Let them enchant, divinate, incantate. Let them go to their marrying. They think they will make you drown. Oh, yes. Let them go to the pattern, their ancient pattern, their serpent and spirit. They think they can strike you. Depend on God. God will deliver you. They can do you nothing. Let them blow their demonic dust. Their evil projection. Let them cast their spell. Let them send their demonic arrow. It will be a body and diverted back to send them. But you depend on God. Oh, yes. Believe it. God is for real. He's never fake. Start learning how to depend entirely on God. Those witches that are sitting in the covens and calling your name, they have your picture, they have your belonging, money you even give to them. You bless them the money, we send money to Africa. They only want to hear if the money comes from you. They want to use the money as a point of contact to inflate you. The Lord will cause everything to be destroyed. Those coven will be set on fire. Depend on God. Depend on God. The Lord will see you too. In Jesus' mighty name. Do not trust in oppression. Okay. Do not trust in oppression. Nor vain hope in robbery. If riches increases. Do not set your heart on them. 
Yes, Lord. God has spoken once, twice. I have heard this. The power belongs to God. Also to you. Oh, Lord, belongs mercy. For you render to each one according to his work. The Lord render to each one according to his work. You, if you like, sit and pretend and hold the Bible and speak into heart. You pray all night, all morning. You go everywhere praying, but your heart is dirty. You perceive evil in your heart, evil thoughts about people or against people. You set in making plays with people in Africa. How you don't want someone to be the first to have document over you. How you don't want someone to succeed over you. How you don't want anything good to happen to somebody. How you don't want somebody to shine, to flourish. How you don't want someone to be noticed. How you don't want people to acknowledge people. Be there. Everything you think about people against people, it will face you hundredfold. Every evil you play against the child of God, the Bible says in Psalm 105 verse 15, do not touch my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Every evil you play against God's children, the anointed ones for no matter, huh? it will face you. Everything you play against them, those evil you play against them, they will face you. The Psalm 1, for the one for sin say, the wicked will fall into their own pit. Why are we escape safely? Why are we escape safely? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Proverbs 21, verse 18. The wicked shall be the ransom for the righteous. Go ahead and enchant divinate. Incarnate. Whole Bible and say you pray, but you're not praying. You know the powers you depend on. You know that chanting, you're enchanting, you're invoking spirit, foul spirit, familiar spirit, and you say you're praying. Who do you think you are fooling? Galatians says, says, be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, so shall he reap. Oh, yes, be there. Be there. And be pretending. Like you're serving God, but you know you're not serving God. In the morning, you go wherever you go, in the places of worship, you make a circle, demonic circle, you enchant to put people in a cage. Be there. The Lord reveals every deep and secret thing. He knows what lies in darkness. But He's also us today to depend on Him. You build a ministry not upon the word of God, but upon chance, human sacrifice. You bury sheep, you bury pregnant women, you bury people. To ah, you say you, you have a church of God. Oh Lord, have mercy. The Lord's asking all to depend on him. And if you have one person to worship God with you sincerely, God said, When you raise me up, when you lift me up, I will raise all men unto myself. If there is no one to serve the Lord, God will raise up stones to worship Him. So do not be carried away by mega churches or mega population. Some mega churches are serving God faithfully. But some are not. Some people are not serving God faithfully. God is asking Lord to depend on Him. Some people are using Mary's power into their churches. Familiar spirits. They often prophesy. They see. Oh, remember the Prince of Pressure in Daniel 10? Verse 13, as you begin to fast and pray, the prince of pressure is the hijacking your blessing so that God will not take the credit. But if there is in Jamaica, ha <laughs> ha, I wonder what will become of you guys because the Lord will fight the battle of the children. Stop going to quarries, to cutting trees, to the villages, to the rivers, to the hills. So the graving images, enchanting, dying, in scraping people knee, encrypting people knee, writing there, the doors, the money doors, the, rape, the demonic graving images, you gather there, you call people by knee. Well, will put fire on you big time. Oh yes, it will backfire on you. God is urging us to depend on him. To not be misled for anyone to say, you know, God having help those who help themselves. It's the common saying. People often tell people, have you helped those who help themselves? You cannot help yourself. Only God can help you. God has given you the key. The key to the Lord's heart is prayer. Prayer without ceasing. Make your, your request known unto the Lord. Through prayer and supplication, make your request known unto Him. Do not be misled or misguided by any evil person. They know what they tip it on. They have rings. They know they have chain on their waist. They have handkerchief. Some of them put it in their pocket when they go to preach in people's churches so people can't notice the rings on their fingers. Who are you fooling? 
Won ba yi fool. Be not deceive God cannot be mock. When we are serving God, faithfully God will fight for us. He did not say it will be bread and butter. But he asking us to depend on him. We should wait upon him patiently. We ought to wait upon the Lord. Why are you not patient? People have lost patience. All patience is out of their agenda. They don't have patience. They want for things to be done today as soon as possible. ASAP. And it's not like that with God. God is asking or us to be little patient. God requires us to be patient. Do not cherish other people's stuff and you plan how to get it from out of their hands. Especially in Africa. People build, people have property. They are planning how to hijack it from people. Stop being evil. Witchcraft practices. It's not good. When someone is blessed, Pray to God to bless you. Do not envy anyone. God doesn't like it. He's urging us to depend on him. When you depend on God, he makes everything possible for him. But it's just a matter of time. Be patient. We ought to be patient. In Jesus' name. May the Lord deliver us all and help us. Do you need healing today? Jeremiah 17 verse 14. Is there? Exodus 15 verse 26. Is there? Do you need protection? Psalm 91 is there? Do you need provision? Psalm 121 is there? We will look up to the hills from where is coming our help. Our help coming from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. God protect his children. Read Psalm 46. Isaiah 43 is there, it's clear. He ushered us said, do not fear. When you depend on God, don't fear. Oh, they are talking about hurricane Isaiah or Isaiah. It was all raging around here. People were in panic, in chaos. But he just speak a word. Say, God, take care of everything. Arrow storm, contrary storm, contrary wind. For we know the power of the prince of the air is their doing. Oh yes, they want to cause chaos. We know their little secret. First Peter 5, it says, be sober. Be vigilant for your adversary. Your enemy. The hater. Lucifer himself, the devil. He moves about or around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Remember? First John, John 10, 10. The thief come now but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the Lord has come to give us life and give it to us more abundantly. He's urging us to depend on him. They will come to steal from you, but they will never steal from you. They will make an attempt. Remember, people will always try, but they will not prevail. Oh, yes. They will try, but they will not prevail. There is a God in heaven. Ha, ha, ha. Jeremiah 119. He said, They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. Do you hear that? So what are you fear? Or what are you fearing? Or whom do you fear? Is it that boss? Or those group of people? Whom are threatening you every day? That are with other you will not have the job if you don't compromise? Give it to the Lord. Play them low, ignore them, let them throw words at you. And you just smile at them and give it to the Lord. He will see you too. In Jesus' mighty name. Then the Lord deliver us all. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says we should call upon him at any time. He will answer us and show us great and mighty things which we don't know about. That is the promise. His telephone does not run out of credit. Does not run out of network, no Wi-Fi is ever ready. He's always on time. He never fail, he never change. God is always on time. In Jesus' mighty name. We're going to pray. Have you received Jesus as personal Lord and Savior? 
Have you confessed him to be the law of your life? Do you believe that if anything should happen to you today, that you will make heaven? Or you will see Jesus face to face? Or you will go to hell? You can check it out in Luke chapter 16. 16, 1, 6. The rich man in Lazarus. Should Jesus come today? Will you be ready? Should the rapture should take place today? Will you be ready to make heaven? To be caught up with Jesus. All the dead in Christ shall rise. Will you be one of those? Or will your parents be one of those? Will you? Thank you, Lord. Romans 10, verse 9. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that the God has raised him from the dead, you will be safe. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession, confession is made unto salvation. Do you believe that should anything happen to you today, you will make heaven? Are you sure of that? Are you convinced enough that should anything happen right now? Amidst all that is going on. That's why we need to depend on God entirely. Mark 16, verse 16 says, He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Do you believe to be baptized so you can be saved today? God is urging us to depend on Him. He is urging you and I to depend on Him. He is urging us all, everyone, all mankind, all mankind or mankind to de depend on Him. Everything you so desire, the Lord is able to do it within a twinkling of an eye. But he, all he needs is your commitment, your loyalty, your perseverance, your endurance. It's all God requires of us. Are you patient? Do you believe that God can fight your battles and give you victories? Waking up in the morning alone is a miracle. Do you believe that God saves? He killed and he make a life. The same God, he killed, he make a life. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah, according to Revelation 5, verse 5. Then he's the lion and he's the lamb of God, according to Isaiah 11, verse 6. You see the mystery? God it can be a lion and he can be a lamb. Oh, God is so faithful. If you doubt that God is a lion and is the Lamb of God, you may read for me in Ezekiel chapter 18. Do yourself a favor. Then you will understand what it feels like to be righteous and you turn your back on God and go to doing sin and to be condoning sins. Then you will know what it feels like. Ezekiel chapter 18. 1 8. May the Lord deliver us. And also, do me a favor, or do God a favor, do yourself a favor. You're not doing God a favor, do yourself a favor. Read Ezekiel chapter 13. Then you'll get the picture of what it feels like to be disobedient against the word of God. May the Lord deliver us all today. God is dependable God. We're going to have one worship and one praise song. Dependable God. And we're going to pray. May the Lord deliver us all today. Even that camera of Liberia, West Africa.
He's our strength, our comforter, he's our provider. He never let it die and he'll never let it fall. No matter what the problems may be, God has a solution. We will look up to the hills from where coming our health. So I want to know. The help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the eye. He promised you will never leave us nor forsake us. According to Hebrews 13, verse 5. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
dependable God. God is our dependable God, so He's urging us to depend on Him. When you depend on Him, He's a mighty man of war, a mighty man in battle. The great I N I M, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Hey, hey! When the enemy see you, they will flee. Proverbs on eight verse one said, "The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous, I bore as the lion." Hey, hey! Le boshikara. Whom are you depending on today? Are you depending on Mama Hawa? Are you depending on Mama Hawa? Whom are you depending on today? Are you depending on Ome Musa? Or Siriki? Or Malian? Kurubali? Kunate? You know their names. Those places you often go. Or Pa James? Are you depending on May May God? Are you depending on the white handkerchiefs? That water you call holy water, is that what you're depending on? Are you depending on the rings? That evil demonic, that devilish ring from the evil altar? Principalities. May that not be our portion today. May the Lord deliver us. We're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you for granting us an opportunity to be counted amongst the living today. We are not better than those that have been dead and gone. But your grace is sufficient for us. Your strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. Lord, thank you that we will depend on you entirely, wholly, that you will fight all the battles. You will deliver us. You will protect us. You will provide for us according to your riches and glory. According to Philippians 4 and verse 19. Jeremiah 1 and verse 19. You will deliver us. You will protect us. Psalm 91 verse 1. You are a provider, Psalm 121. Psalm 125. It is all there. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for forgiving us. You said a vision may tarry, but it was there come to pass. Lord, help us that we be patient and we depend on you. Holy Spirit, we are calling upon you. We are calling on you, Lord. We are asking, Lord, begging you to grant us patience that we will be patient to depend on God. Lord, you said, if we say we have no sins, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not known us. But if we confess our sin, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sin and prove us from all righteousness. According to 5 John 1, 8 to 9. Romans 3, 23 says, For all I have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But you said, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves, seek my face and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then we are going here from heaven, we are forgive their sin, we are here their land. According to 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 14. Ephesians 6, 12 says, We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age, against special hosts of wickedness in the higher places. Lord, we take authority against every power, against every COVID, every marine, every serpent, and all, all ancient serpent pattern, every mommy water, every familiar spirit, every foul spirit, every spirit of the dead, every marine, every occult, every witchcraft. Every demonic powers, every power that projected from their eyes, from the wind, from the sun, from the moon, from the stars, from every contrary wind, we subdue those power on our feet. We subdue those power on our feet. We subdue those power on our feet. We overturn with a butt every vulture, every bride that been commissioned to attack anyone. May you crash every roaster by fire, every pharaoh that is following, pursuing anyone to a place of destruction. May you receive tragedy by fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we thank you. Cover us with your blood. And deliver us from every stronghold. You say in 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 3 to 4. You said, though we walk in the flesh, but we do not war in the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are matter through you to put in that every stronghold. Father, we thank you that we can do all things through Christ and strengthen us. And according to Philippians 4 and verse 13. Christ in us, the hope of glory. And according to Colossians 1 27. You destroy principalities and powers. You make a show of their opening their triumphant lay over them. According to Colossians 2 and verse 15. Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name. We honor you. We worship you. We adore you. In Jesus' name. That we may know him. That we may know him. That we may know him, Lord. That we may know him, say your power, 
Say your power. Say your power. Say your power. Oh, resurrection. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm stopping this by the leading of the I'm stopping now by the leading of the Holy Spirit because I want to speak to my people in our dialect. I'm going to cut off the English version in Jesus' mighty name. Bye bye.